Hey, it's John from Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna go over some big changes to the ATI TIS, which is that it is changing from the TIS 6 to the TIS 7. So we're gonna go over all those changes, what they are and what they mean for you and how you can be prepared for the new TIS 7. Now, before we get into it, I wanna make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Look, we always say that in the videos, but this time I really want you guys to subscribe and get the notifications because uh, when there's more information about the new TIS 7, you're gonna wanna have that information if you are going to be taking that version of the test. Um, so please do that. And then also check out the links below. There's links to free practice tests and our Facebook study group, uh, online courses, practice test packs, all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that you need to do is don't panic. Don't panic about this. This is not a monumental change. This is still going to be the same test with the same subject areas, the same topics, the same stuff you need to study. It's just changed the structure a little bit. So we're gonna go over all that, but I don't want you guys to panic and freak out. Um, I'm gonna explain everything here that you need to know. Uh, and like I said, as we get more information, we're gonna pass that on to you guys, but really don't get too uh, worked up about this whole thing, okay? So ATI hasn't officially said exactly when the new test is going to roll out, but we are seeing it on different college and university websites uh, that are saying in October. So it's likely it's gonna be sometime around that, plus or minus uh, a few weeks, and I'm sure you'll see it on your school's um, website or whatever program you're applying to. So one big question that people have is, you know, how does this affect me? If I've taken the T6 already this year, or I'm taking it this summer, but my school is changing to the T7, what do I need to do? Do I need to take the T7? And so the answer to that is that uh, it, most schools have a grace period where they accept both. So if you took the T6, say in July of 2021, and you're applying for the fall, they will take that score. Uh, if you are um, applying you know, later for the uh, spring semester and you take that test in November, obviously they're gonna be able to take the T7. Um, and so this is gonna uh, vary from school to school. So we have a couple examples of some schools who have already put on their websites how they're dealing with this change, so I want to lay out what those examples are. Uh, so the first example is from Palomar College in San Marcos, California, and what they're saying is, we will accept both the TIS version 6 and version 7 through our 2022 application periods. So that's not only the rest of this year, but all the way through 2022, they will be accepting your TIS 6 scores. So the second example is Saddleback College in Michigan. Viejo, California. And what they're saying on their website is we will continue to take version 6 up until April 30th, 2022. So that's a much shorter time frame. That's only about six months after this new TIS version 7 comes out. Uh, so they're not as gracious as uh, all the way up until the end of 2022. So, you know, what this really means is that different colleges are going to have different uh, policies around how long they accept the T6 for. So you just need to check with your school or the program that you're applying to to see how long they're going to accept your T6 scores for and uh, kind of when they're going to be making their switches to the T7. All right, so now let's get into the actual changes for the test. Like I mentioned, the subjects are all going to be the same. So it's going to be the reading, English, math, and science. And really the topics are also the same, but the ratio of how many questions you're getting for those topics is, is what seems to be changing. So, you know, also on the T6, that, is, that test uh, is 150 scored questions and there's 20 unscored questions, so it's a total of 170 questions. And But what I'm going to be able to cover here is the actual information that we have from ATI on what that breakdown is uh, for those topics and how many questions will be on each uh, each subject section. All right, so for reading, the key takeaway is that there's gonna be less key ideas and details and craft and structure, and there's gonna be more integration of knowledge and ideas, but not really by much. So the way that that breaks down is on the new TIS 7, key ideas and details is gonna be 15 questions, where on the 6, it was 22 questions. So that's actually a, a good amount of change. That's about seven less questions on key ideas and details. Um, craft and structure on the new T7 is going to be nine questions. On the uh, previous version, it was 14 questions, so less of the craft and structure. And then integration of knowledge and ideas is uh, on the new 7 T7 going to be 15 questions, and 11 uh, is what was on the old version, so a little bit less there as well. 
All right, so for math, the way that this breaks down is that there's gonna be less numbers and algebra topics and more measurement and data questions. And uh, the question breakdown is for the T7, numbers and algebra is gonna be 18 questions, whereas it used to be 23 questions. So that's quite a few less uh, questions on numbers and algebra. And then measurement and data, that used to be uh, nine questions. And on the new T7, it's gonna be 16 questions. So that's actually quite a few more measurement and data questions. So this is just for you guys to be prepared. So let's get into these actual changes in the number of questions and the ratio of questions that you'll get on the T7. So it used to be for the T6 that there were about 36 questions on A&P, and now for the T7 there's only 18. So that's half the number of questions, that's a big difference. There's a lot of material to know for A&P, there's a lot of systems, there's a lot of things, you know, they ask detailed questions. So it's not that you don't need to know those things now, you still do, you can just expect to get less questions on them, and you want to spread out your studying to some of these other topics that we're going to go into now. So in the T6, uh, they had a category called life and physical uh, sciences. And the life part of that was biology and the physical sciences part was chemistry. In total on the T6, there were eight questions for the life and physical sciences. Now that seems to be have doubled to almost 17 questions between those two, biology and chemistry. So from eight to 17. And the uh, breakout there is that biology will have about nine questions on the test and chemistry will have about eight questions on the test. So it's quite a bit more biology and chemistry. I know that's something Smart Edition has already done. We added in quite a bit of chemistry to our online courses, um, kind of knowing that people weren't studying that enough and that they needed more of that information. And we had also put in a bonus practice test uh, to kind of help people uh, with that area. All right, English and language usage. Now, this seems to have actually changed the number of questions because they're now saying there's 33 scored questions where there weren't that many before. So there seems to be a, a couple more questions added into this section, at least from what the information that we have seen from ATI. So the key takeaways for this section is gonna be that language and vocabulary has more questions uh, than before, but otherwise not really a big change here. So if you break down these topics by the number of questions you're gonna see, uh, the conventions of standard English on the T6 had nine questions and on the new version, it's gonna have 12. It's only a couple more questions there. Um, knowledge of language had nine questions and now it has 11. So again, a, a small number of questions uh, increase there. A change that we are seeing is that uh, a slight renaming of the topic for vocabulary acquisition. So on the T6, it was called vocabulary acquisition, and there were six topics. And now it's being called using language and vocabulary to express ideas in writing, and that's got 10 questions. So that's actually a little less than doubled, but quite a few more questions there. Now. Uh, I should have prefaced this before, but as I'm kind of reading these topics, they're very high level, uh, and they are actually broken down into much uh, more specific topics, and that's something that we do in our practice test so that you can understand you know, exactly which topics within um, conventions of standard English you're getting right or wrong so that you can know exactly what to study. So here at Smart Edition Academy, we are already reviewing these changes with the information that we have and kind of planning what our updates are gonna be to our study guides and our online courses so that when the new version comes out this fall, we'll have uh, everything up to date, completely ready for everybody who is taking the TS7. Now there'll be a new edition of the study guide coming out this fall, so we're pretty excited about that. And then all the updates to the online course, those are gonna be automatic. So if you already have the online course, you don't need to buy a new one from Smart Edition, you don't need to buy the T7 version. All the updates are gonna be rolled right into that online course and pushed live. So if you have it, you're good to go. If you're thinking about buying it, don't worry about it you know, having to change or anything like that. All those updates are gonna be rolled out uh, as soon as the T7, uh, version seven is kind of announced a little closer to that date. We'll start making those changes so that you guys can be studying even before the new version comes out. In our next video, we're gonna provide more updates to this new version of the T7. So make sure you subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Uh, we say that in all the videos, but I really mean it this time because you're really, really, really gonna to wanna to know uh, any more information, any updates coming out. So we will be delivering that for you. So make sure you check those out. And then in the meantime, check out these videos here from Smart Edition Academy. All sorts of stuff to help you out and check out our channel uh, so that we can just keep helping you guys. It's what we're here to do. So good luck on the test guys and we'll, we'll see you in the next video.